Hi, in this video we learn about generating a relation for identifying any field. So for that what we have to do, first we have to create a static text. Okay, so I will right click on search element, then click on add. Then I will click on static text. And here I will give some static text. So so what we'll do we'll extract this one total minimum payment due okay so we'll extract this value okay so for that i will write keyword total due okay and then okay inside this static text i will copy this one click on take spaces into account and click on apply and ok ok let's match this one I will press ctrl E ok so it's identifying this particular element but I want to select this value this particular element okay okay so if i will click here see it's scientifying this one but i want this one okay so for that what we can do i will double click again and then click on relation and i will select this nearest option and here i will define page right edge and click on apply okay okay let's test it again Okay, so now it's identifying this field perfectly. Okay, I will zoom this one. Now with what we have to do, we have to create a relation. So for that, uh, we have to take any element. So we have a different type of element here. Either we can use character string, currency, reason, or any other element. So, for this example, I will use this currency. And, okay. So we'll define this one as total and we'll keep this setting as this currency let it be like this and we'll go to this relation tab and here we'll click on this add and we have to select this particular total due. Now see it's highlighting this particular area so this is a left area for this particular element total minimum payment due and if I will select this one as a right it's highlighting this area okay so this right position is starting from this side okay so to bound this one we need this uh, relation type as right and then uh, we need some some offset from beginning from this side okay so for that what we can do i will select this one right to the right and here we'll give some offset okay so for cal cal calculating offset so what we can do we will just do like this so it's showing a dot okay so it's six zero nine okay so we'll give some dots here as 609 okay so it's identifying perfectly now i will click on add relation okay i will select this one and i will click on duplicate so this time what i will do i will create a relation again but from left side okay 
I will select left. Okay, so left to the sorry, left to the right. And this time I have to increase. Uh, uh, sorry, I have to decrease this offset. Okay, so I have to increase a bit more. So I will give 800 or, or let's give 850. So it's identifying this one. Okay, now it's fine. Okay, now what we have to do, we have to restrict this one from top also. So for that I will click on add again. And selecting this total due and selecting this above. Okay, when I select this above, so you can see it's highlighting this halting from here total. So what we have to do, we have to cover this this number, right? So for that, I will select bottom. So my relation will be above bottom. So now you can see it's covering this area also. Okay, so we'll increase the offset a bit. Okay, I will give us 10. Okay, so I have to decrease it. Adding a minus 10. Now it's fine. Click on add. And then we'll add one more relation from below. Okay, so for that, uh, we'll select again. And then here we'll select below. Okay, so it's uh, highlighting from here below. So we have to select above portion. So it will cover this one. So we have this option top, right? So we'll select this one. And yeah, it's identifying this one perfectly. So we'll decrease this one again. Hmm, no, it's fine. Click on add relation. Okay, so if I will select all this relation, so it will highlight entire area okay so so it's getting bounded from all all from uh, from all the sites and identifying this field perfectly now i'll click on apply and click on ok and then what we have to do we have to match this one right so we'll, i will press ctrl e We'll click on total and it's identifying this value. So this is how you can create a relation or generate a relation. Okay, so that's all for this video. Thank you for watching.